So now we've done a lot of stuff with forms. We actually need to move our form outside of actually working with the Django admin. So let's actually take a look at the Django admin and we see here what all this is, is a bunch of different views. So if you click on this, this is a view to edit the form. If we go to add one, this is a view to add the form or add the data or create the data is another way to say that. Uh, and then this is a list of that data. So you can list it out and kind of see it. Um, so edit, update, same type of thing. Okay, cool. So these are all different sorts of views. So what we're going to be doing now is actually adding that form into a view. So let's go ahead and look at our sublime text and into views.py. So we have this home page here, and this is where we want to actually render the form itself. So if we look inside of that home page or add it, it's just an empty HTML document. Um, so what we have to do is add some context into our home.html. So before we can actually add this form, let's kind of discuss how context works inside of templates. All right, so context is something fairly simple. Basically what it allows us to do is use some sort of variable or some sort of object and bring that into our template. So let's say for instance, we have a variable, let's call it title. And we set that title equals to uh, my title. Okay, so this is a variable that we want to use inside of our template. And the question becomes is how do we actually do that? Well, this empty dictionary right here is kind of the key to that, but so is all of this right here. So render is kind of combining the request with the template, with the context, and it's creating a more dynamic HTML document than just the HTML document, right? So we're not actually just returning an HTML document here. We were returning a whole variety of things. So render combines those things for us. So let's go ahead and add a new variable called context. So this is gonna be our context dictionary. So this right here is the same thing as this. So we'll just add context there. So now inside this dictionary, I'm gonna add a, a template context variable of title, or we'll just, I'll call it for now, I'll call it template title. And then we're gonna set that equal to title, which is of course our view title, which we set here. Um, if you didn't have it, so if we said ABC, this is an error because it's not set anywhere, right? So we want to leave it as title. Um, okay, cool. So now that we've got this context, that means we can actually use this context inside of our template. And to do that, we use our context variable, which is this, and we use some curly brackets. So let's actually take a look at it. We'll open up home.html. So let's go into our templates, open up home. And in here, instead of hello again, I'm going to change my context to being template underscore title. And why is it named template title? Well, that's the name we gave it to in our view. We gave it template title. Um, so let's go ahead and save this, save everything, save the view too. And we'll go back into Chrome and refresh. And now it says my title. Cool, so that means it's a little bit more dynamic. So my view, I can change it however I'd like. And better yet, I can also say percent %s, so I can use some string substitution, a Python string substitution that is and put in request.user. So request.user is coming through with this request. So if I refresh in here, it gives me my username. So right off the bat, it's already giving me some dynamic data that's actually coming through here. And if I logged out, so let me just log out real quick. I'm gonna go to the admin and log out. And log out, and then let's go back to the home page. And now it's saying anonymous user. Why is it saying that? Well, because I am an anonymous user, I'm not actually logged in. So this is a cool part of using context as well, as we could say, if request.user.is authenticated, that is, they have logged in and they are a valid user, we can set our title being that. Otherwise, we can say title equals to welcome, right? So we can put it above or below, doesn't really matter. That's a Python uh, functionality here. As long as the title or the context is being set below, this is how it's going to change. So now if we refresh in here, it says welcome. So if we log back in again, and we log in, go back to the home page, and now it's giving us that new title. Um, so that's how context works. And it's definitely a lot more dynamic than just this. There's a lot more stuff that we can do, and we can add a lot more variables. One of those things being add a form here. So using that model form, and that's what we'll do in the next one. So this is some basics on, on template context, and realistically what you would be doing 
with your context, you would not call it template title, you would just call it title. And then back into your template, you would change this to title as well. So we save that and then we refresh in here, it's still working. Um, all I did that for was to see, so you can see the difference between a template variable or template context variable versus a view function variable, which this is a view function variable and this is a template context variable. There is one other thing within our actual context that we can do uh, inside of our template. So if I said user here and refresh in here, it gives me that user. And if I said request.user here, it also gives me that user. And where that stuff is coming from has everything to do with some of our settings and that's these right here. So we've got a request coming through right here and then we also have auth coming through right here. So those two things are actually giving us the ability to see these other um, context variables. What's nice about this is we did not set them inside of this view at all, but they are able to be used in here completely. So the other example of that would be if I said ABC, and first of all, I'll type out some text saying ABC is, so again, these curly brackets are a context variable. If I refresh and say ABC is, it's giving me a blank. That's because we never set that variable anywhere. So if I set in our context and I said one, two, three, and I refresh in here, now that's actually coming through. So that's an example of how that stuff works. I definitely recommend that you play around with this uh, a decent amount. We will cover some more things on this here shortly, but for now, uh, this is going to be what we want to see. Okay, cool. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, in the next one, we will add that form.